Join yeah. the band, man. Oh. <laughs> I, I could probably it. play the tambourine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. We could use another member. I love it. I love it. I love <laughs> it. We already got one of those. So. Some bongos. Some competition. That's right. That's good. That's right. So welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, Charles Gregory, with the beautiful Lauren Sizzle. And this is WPPMLP Philadelphia, 106.5 FM, man. Listen, we talk weekly, you know. You know, this is kind of like, I don't want to get too much on my soapbox, you know what I'm saying? And But one thing that I like about the interviews that we talk weekly, right? That's kind of traditionally how we started this thing, you know, it's yeah. about the interviews. The reason I like the interviews, right, is because... Especially when it comes to the artist, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. You see the artist, but they really don't know the artist's story, right? right? And so mm-hmm. when we talk weekly, we're able to kind of get a little deeper into who is that person that, that you're consuming their music? Who is this person? Mm-hmm. Get to know the person that you're supporting and, and purchasing their music, right? And that's why pretty much a lot of people, I don't want to go back into the Meek Mill thing, but that's why he has diehard fans. People knew, in Philadelphia anyway, people know Meek Mill. They know where he came from and they know where he is. So it's kind of like the success story, right? And since you can see Phil and Touching, he's here in Philadelphia, he's going to have diehard fans. And Philadelphia's diehard fans come to an Eagles game wearing a Cowboys shirt. <laughs> Find out. <laughs> right? And so who we got today, Sizzle? So we have um, the dynamic Chris yeah. Paterno. <laughs> the grass is greener. Yes, yes, let him do that. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a singer-songwriter from Philadelphia, yeah. Pennsylvania. Shout out to Philly in the building. Yeah, shout out to Philly. He grew up in Havertown, PA, and he had attended the Episcopal Academy from kindergarten through 12th grade. Right, right. He went on to study history with minors in biology, chemistry, and music at Boston College. Right, right, right. So two moments define Chris's life after college. Number one would be signing a deal with nine-time Grammy-winning producer Joe Nicolo. Did Whoa. I say the name? Nicolo, yeah. Nicolo, yes. Nicolo. <laughs> Joe That's Nicolo, dope. yes. And getting accepted into Sidney Kimmel Medical College at Jefferson University. Mm. Mm. Yes, a huge Tough accomplishment. Choices. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 wow. yes. So He's right now, medicine. yeah, but mm-hmm. right now he's putting off medical school to pursue his passion, wow. which is music, mm-hmm. and he's traveling up and down the East Coast performing with his eight-piece alternative soul group, the Chris Paterno Band. I think we just added two new members. So yeah, so that. he right. now he has that a 10-piece. Ten. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I'll be hitting those bongos of that tambourine <laughs> soon. I know that's right. I know that's <laughs> thanks for the intro. Yeah, so yeah, welcome so to the welcome show. To the yeah, show. Thanks for having me. No doubt, no doubt. So let's jump into this music and medicine thing, man, mm-hmm. because the school that you were accepted to, first of all, that takes a little challenge to get into. <laughs> yeah. So why, you know, I guess let's jump in right into it. Why are, why are you pretty much just putting that to the side for a minute and just jumping right into your music? Yeah, I, I think the biggest thing is the way that music makes me feel. All I right. spent a lot of time in the library working really hard to get into med school. Mm-hmm. Uh, but when I pick up the guitar, you know, you guys were talking about how it's hard to be a man in society and not show your emotions. You know, I live with yeah. 10% of those emotions during the day. Mm-hmm. But when I pick up mm-hmm. that guitar... Mm-hmm. I get that full spectrum, yeah. and it just makes me feel alive and good, and like I can communicate as the person that I am to other people and connect with people. So, uh, you know, when I was faced with that decision, I had a couple good turns of events with uh, meeting Joe Nicolo, and that gave me the confidence to keep doing what I'm doing now. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Now, let's what? talk about Mr. Nicolo. <laughs> How was that experience meeting someone as huge yeah. or something? He actually is one of those stories where we were playing a gig in a small venue and it happened to be kind of close to his place and he was just came out for the night. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we got really lucky. Mm-hmm. And uh, wow. right afterwards, he came up to me and he was like, Yo, let's go outside. Wow. And uh, he said, you know, come over to my place and we'll, we'll start talking. But he's a legend. He has a story about everybody from oh Cypress Hill, Lauren Hill, the Fugees. We covered a Van Morrison song. He told me about a time he was hanging out with Van. Uh, so he's a legend uh, from Rough House Records, and he still works with Sony and some other people. So he's been kind of like a mentor to me, uh, just pushing me forward and, and helping produce some of our tracks. 
And uh, he's actually sponsoring our upcoming show mm. on the 22nd of November. Mm, Shout out awesome. to Kiki Vaca, who's mm. also sponsoring that show uh, the night before Thanksgiving at World Cafe Live. Wow. Awesome. So what did your parents say about you <laughs> <Yeah>. not? <laughs> you that know was that my was. Next <laughs> I didn't even have to say something. You already know. You got accepted into med school, mm -hmm. which is a huge accomplishment. Yeah, you, you know, <laughs> Of course, you're a genius to say uh, that. I wouldn't please. go that far. <laughs> a lot of hard work. Yeah, yeah. But what did they say? Like, were they supportive? Or? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, ever since I was young, when I was little, really little, I used to dance in, in my basement. And uh, to find young cannibals, like 80s rock. And wow. my parents would say, if you want to be a dancer, we'll love you forever. If you want to be a businessman, we'll love you forever. Whatever. So I've had a really great support system. Uh, so when I got into med school, and then I was like, I'm going to do this music thing. You know, there was some disappointment yeah. for, for a minute. Yeah. But, uh, you know, they were also like, this is what you love. So yeah. we want you to be as happy as possible. And if this is going to be what it is, then yeah. let's get after it, you know. That's awesome. Shout out to yeah. parents. Yeah. Understanding Especially parents. the ones that support their children. Yeah. Usually yeah. they have some kind of direction the way they want you to go mm -hmm. but it's difficult for them to like you know allow you to just kind of do your own thing and support yeah. you the arts i mean you can't do the arts without shout a support system exactly you, know? you, you gotta have to friends and family yeah. that come out and shout you out and listen and and share things and parents that support you and yes you know there are a lot of times i'm sure you guys understand with the arts and the things that you do where there's a lot of rejection in the industry oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah and every day yeah. you're getting no's but yeah. once a week you get a yes and that yes Constantly. puts you 10 steps forward so yes. you yeah. just got to keep going after those yeses fantastic awesome. fantastic awesome. so i like to ask you know artists you know sometimes what are their purpose right because it's mm -hmm. hard to kind of you know walk through this life and find out you know what is your purpose right so if someone was to ask you who is Chris Paterno, what would you say? Who is he? Hard hitter question right there. Um, <laughs> I think the biggest thing that defines me is my music. If you listen to my, my dad used to say that we never have to have a conversation. I just need to listen to the song that you're working on and I know Aww. what's going on in your life. Cool. So, uh, you know, I, I guess I'm defined by my music rather than my music defines me. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of just pours out of me. But you know, I'm 24. Oh, I went to Boston College. I got I, the med school. Music thing is a big part of my life. Um, other fun facts about me: I love the Eagles. I'm a huge, there huge Eagles fan. Eagles <laughs> in the Eagles bye right week here. was was big for us. Yes, uh, yes. So great bye week for for the city. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would definitely say that that the music defines me. That's, that's the biggest thing. Oh, wow, so cool. who are some of your influences? Like yeah. I love uh, Stevie Wonder and John Mayer. That's how I we describe her sound. Yeah. Um, yeah. Stevie is an absolute legend. I saw him at the oh Wells God. Fargo yeah. Center. Yeah. Big, yeah. He blew me away. He's yeah. yes. absolutely amazing. Yes. And uh, John Mayer is also, mm -hmm. he's yeah. more of like my songwriting yeah, yeah, inspiration. Yeah. And then Stevie is kind of like yeah, our live sure. sound. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you guys were listening earlier to that track, Brighter Days, which mm -hmm. we just released, mm -hmm. um, you know, we got that full band sound with the organ and yeah. the horns, yeah. uh, so they really funk it up and add that soul to to the top of yeah. the song. Right, that's an that's a great transition because I was just about to go into that sound. But first of all, do we have permission to play that? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Play so as you much got, as you want. Got to get a permission <laughs> for it, right? <laughs> and so, let's jump right into that track. This is sure. great. We'll we'll tag it because we usually chop this up and put it online, and you will cool, make sure cool. you get the. Uh, so we'll make sure that we tag it you know, um, at the end of the show, but what first let's talk a little bit about that track you know yeah, um and even the vocals because I, <laughs> I i would not think that that big voice comes out of you yes. definitely not <laughs> <laughs> yeah so let's talk about kind of the creation what inspired that song and cool. then you know some of the lyrics and arrangements and stuff yeah so that track is our second track off our upcoming ep which is called don't want to be in love right, right, right. you can first of all you can find all our music on spotify chris paterno music dot mm -hmm. com and all that stuff but um so I used to date this girl, and uh -oh, we broke always up. come from relationship. <laughs> always a relationship. <laughs> thing. You're and, not gonna uh, be like a male Taylor Swift, are you? <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> That's as far as we'll go into the breakup. But uh, the song "Brighter Days" is about coming out of that and uh, just realizing, like you know, bad things happen, but you just gotta bounce back. So uh, you know, the chorus is, "I was lost, but now I'm found." Used to sing sad songs, but happy tunes pour out my mouth. 
Uh, I was down and out, didn't think I could turn it around, but the grass is greener after rain comes pouring down. So, um, and you know, I shout out James Brown in there and, and the soul influence that mm. is, is in that track. Um, because you know, when you're down, you listen to a lot of sad songs and oh, it just yeah, makes you course. more and more, more down. And more, yeah. But you know, you just got to put on that Jackson five or James Brown or Stevie and, mm-hmm. and get that funk in you and turn yeah. it back up. And you know, that is what helped me turn around getting back into my music. Mm. Um, yeah, and I listen to like a lot of gospel music actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love uh, praise on on the radio, mm-hmm. so uh, that's where that second half of that song comes from, where yeah. you got the chorus in the background and the, the organ. So yeah, we, exactly. What's your favorite gospel? I artist? love Marvin Sapp. My yeah, testimony. Yeah, yes, song. <laughs> yes, that's all. Awesome you know, I gotta ask you some hard questions, right? Because you list a lot of uh, gentlemen that doesn't look like you, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> and so inspiration when talking about your inspiration mm-hmm. why do you think you know when you get come to that that soulful because you, when you think soulful and funk you think you know people of color right mm-hmm. and so not all oh, now because i love you so, but, but we'll get to, get into <laughs> that but why do you think they um are a lot of your influence well my mom loves motown uh, your we, mom <laughs> is dope hi mom we love you mom <laughs> mm-hmm. that's yeah. what i grew up on uh, you know my mom was all motown my dad was all classic rock right, right, and right. uh you know my mom drove us around everywhere so right. we'd always listen to 98 one in the radio okay, okay, and okay. just blast the jackson five and, and yeah. sing along you know yeah. uh, so when you grow up you know those are the things that i go back to every day and and put on to relive so they they find their way into into my music for right, sure right, right. alternative funk how would you describe that yeah, yeah, it's definitely like an alternative soul. Um, I think going back to that John Mayer, yeah. Stevie Wonder feel, um, we combine like rootsy, rootsy songwriting with horn hooks and, and danceable rhythms. So um, I basically take songs and write them on my acoustic guitar, and they sound very singer songwritery. Mm-hmm. And then I bring them to the band with a bunch of ideas, and we start talking, and they put that soul on top of that. Right, and then right, my, right. my voice doesn't sound like this <laughs> as i'm talking it's you know it sounds a little bit different and, yeah. and it just comes out raspier and and has yeah. a little bit more emotion because what i write about is is me you know? well you know of course we need to hear you sing <laughs> i did bring my guitar so oh, just, oh just so got some time. let's jump right into it hey, hey, hey. shout out to antoine in the building he needs yes. his guitar yes, yes. we, yes. we, we gonna have him we going yeah there you cool, go yeah um we, we this is my baby right here. I know that's right. <laughs> Don't leave home without it. <laughs> I know that's right. I definitely do not leave home without this. Um, and so, wh- while you while you get that together, right? Um, if someone was to ask you, right? Because I ask all the artists this: What's the one thing that no one else knows about you? That you can tell we talk weekly today. You got to dig deep in that backpack. <laughs> exclusive. We need mm, an exclusive. Don't hide. Uh, don't hide anything. Now we want to know. Um, I love seeing Justin Bieber in the shower. <laughs> 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 That's a guilty pleasure right there. I so. love. There we go. There you go. There you go. Oh, Justin Bieber. Uh, uh, alternative what? soul pop. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> All right. So we're gonna get this. Let's cue him up. Uh, says, will you put the, why don't you put that down to his, yup. Cool. Uh, do you want the full song? Do you want a little preview? Okay, what do you want? Let's give a little preview. Well, we got, uh, we got about a minute. Cool, I can mm-hmm. do a minute. This song's called Unfaithful. I wake up in the mornings Got strange feeling I can't deny, nah, nah. These trails it is broken I feel like a thine in circus you love me I have some dress get his hands on your chest yeah. Loving air I'm faithful while you sleeping in right away got me wondering is it really just a trick you were I'm faithful yeah Yes you were uh, I love piece. that. You know piece. what? I I, 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 I should have said through the whole song, right? And so, so the funny thing though, 
you know the funny thing we're gonna have to have you do a a, a, a special we talk weekly <laughs> yeah, you know sure. acoustically you know yes. and so let's talk about acoustic you know for because for me mm. i love hearing songs done like that i mean i seen what was it lauren hill who did that that um uh fuck i think that uh what was it Uns- unsung type of such a no it wasn't unsung oh, was it was it, an mtv, it was an MTV special um, unplugged. Unplugged. unplugged unplugged yes yes <laughs> and yes the s- music the song like, it just sounds oh, so completely different but you know it just it's something about that what do you like better do you like going That's straight tough. to the guitar you know what, I mean? what is it yeah i mean the songs first of all i play mostly my own music just because right. it speaks to me right. <clears throat> so when I p- pick up my guitar by myself, that's where I feel most at home because right, right, right. uh, that's what I do every day. And I really love songwriting. Mm-hmm. Um, the band adds such a dynamic element. It, right, right. it really brings the listener in and, and adds so many more layers. But nothing can beat me on a Sunday morning with a cup of coffee just playing my guitar by myself. and Because mm-hmm. you get to emote. It's like cathartic. You know, you, mm-hmm. you wet everything out. Mm-hmm. You know, that song is like three years old, but mm. it wow. still has meaning to me. It changes every day yeah. with the emotions that I'm going through. So I definitely love unplugged things, watching MTV Unplugged yeah, yeah, yeah. and YouTube videos of people right. just playing because it's so raw and vulnerable, you know. Fantastic. Yeah. So what can we expect from you in the next coming, like, months? Yeah, definitely. We we just released a song called Brighter Days. We've got two more tracks coming up off that EP, and we've got two new tracks that were almost done in the studio. Uh, we'll be playing all of our new music on Wednesday, November 22nd at World Cafe Live. Mm-hmm. It's our biggest show ever. Uh, mm-hmm. We're headlining the downstairs venue, which is 600 people. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. definitely come out. Uh, shout out to Kiki Vaca for the sponsorship. And then I actually go on tour by myself uh, in January mm-hmm. from wow. Maine down through Boston, New York, a couple other places, back to mm-hmm. Philly. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I got a trip to Nashville to talk songwriting to some people. Yeah, so, yeah, no doubt, um, no doubt. Yeah, we'll see you, what happens. You, we gonna have yes. to, you know, I think I got to look for you, man. You know, <laughs> I, I'm a stylist, man. So everybody that come in, I, I'm sizing them up, and I think I got something for you, man. <laughs> yeah, you know? let's talk. Yeah, I'm, I'm 95% <laughs> colorblind, so I need the help. <laughs> <laughs> And so how can anybody get in contact with you if they want to, you know? Yeah, you can find everything that we do on our website, which is chrispaternomusic.com. Uh, and you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. They're both at chrispaternomusic or slash chrispaternomusic. Our Twitter is at the underscore CPB. Uh, and that's that's it. Spotify, everything. You can just search us. Wow. 